Hi, this is Amit from Beat Factory, and today we are going to talk about something called Match EQ. A Match EQ is a very simple EQ which analyzes the frequency response of uh, signals that you can input in it, and then you can use that frequency analysis to cut out frequencies uh, visually by looking at that spectral analysis. And it's it's interesting if you if you are unsure of which frequencies to cut to make your mixes more clean uh, then match eq is something you might want to look at today we have one guitar riff and a vocal on top of that now these these are basically just loops that come with logic and we're just going to use them this is how it sounds right now Now, the idea is that we are going to use uh, a match EQ to cut out certain frequencies from, from, the, from the guitar riff that we have so that we make a little more room for the vocals. So, um, also, there might be certain frequencies which are not present in the vocals which you can actually increase in the guitar to make the overall mix sound richer. So, we are going to do that with the match EQ and so I'm, I'm going to load the match EQ here, uh, go to EQ, match EQ and there you go. Now what you can do is you can actually load uh, the vocal track that you have, send it to the sidechain input of the match EQ. And um, the vocals track here is actually going to a bus 1 and from bus 1 it's going to steer it out and I'm going to use that bus 1 as the input. So bus 1 has the vocal signal and this match EQ is applied on the guitar track. So right now it's not going to do anything. We will have to learn and analyze the sidechain input. So I'll click on the learn button and I'll play the track. So you can see that it, it shows you exactly which frequencies are present in your sidechain input. And then you click on the match button right here. So this is basically the kind of graph that you have uh, from the sidechain input. This is the analysis of the sidechain input. Of course, uh, this if you apply to the guitar does not make sense because then it's going to accentuate the frequencies which are present in the vocal track and you want exactly the opposite of that. To do the opposite of that, I'm going to uh, take this fader, apply fader and bring it down and actually make it inverted something like this and now as you can see frequencies which are present in the vocal track which are primarily these mid frequency stuff uh, this is now being cut uh, by a 4 5 db and rest of the stuff which was not there especially the low frequency area which was not present in the vocals now you are giving that a boost and this kind of happens automatically you don't really have to even listen for those frequencies these are there they just analyzed and shown to you in the magic you uh, you do want to smoothen your curve that you're cutting and boosting a little bit so that you know it doesn't doesn't create any weird resonance anywhere uh, you want it to be a little smooth so you can do that with this smoothing fader. Now, now that we're done with that, uh, let's listen to the final output. So this uh, is slightly better. The vocals are clearer now. We increased low frequencies in the guitar, we cut down mid frequencies in the guitar and made more space for the vocals. And let's also look at uh, look at the result by bypassing the match EQ and see exactly how much difference it is actually creating. So I'm gonna play this track again and I'm going to bypass uh, the match EQ a couple of times so that you guys can actually hear exactly what's happening. So it's 
it's not uh, too drastic a change but it is important enough i think because uh, these things happen all the time when you're working with vocals and you have maybe a guitar track which is also a mid mid frequency rich sound or maybe you have an an acoustic piano or any other instrument which might have frequencies which clash with the vocals and you want to make sure that the vocals cut through so this is one thing that you can use uh, to to make your vocals basically cut through more and see exactly which frequencies uh, are present in, in your vocals so uh, thanks for watching we will have a lot more stuff to talk about in future videos and thanks again